Good morning, everybody. For today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna try to do a one day build. Uh, so I had some requests for that wavy wall. So let's go get some material, let's get started. Who else hates these cards? So for this build, we're gonna need two sheets of plywood. We're gonna go with the half inch four by eight for $45 at Home Depot and the quarter inch four by eight sanded $29. Oh my goodness, if I would've known how short I actually look grabbing this sheet of plywood, I would've definitely filmed it in a different direction. Time I'm gonna put the camera on the floor looking up. All right, we got both sheets of plywood. Now we need that one by two and make sure to actually check your boards to make sure they're not warped. I never knew this till I went shopping with my grandpa and I saw him checking like 25 boards and only took like five, but definitely it makes a big difference. We're actually only gonna need one for this project and this one's straight enough. What we need is a pair of hinges. I just got a two and a half hinges, that'll work. All right, this is actually all that we need. Just two plywoods, the one by two and the hinges. It actually came out to $90.20. And so I will let you know, I'm not accounting the screws or the wood glue or the brad nails that we're gonna use, but I have that at home. Just something to think about. All right, guys, so I'm back at the workshop. It's actually supposed to rain in a little bit. It's supposed to rain all week. All right, got all the supplies we need. About to get started. It is 10.36 a.m. Monday, October 29th. Ah, see how long it takes to make this. I made this stencil and printed it out this morning. I actually taped this together a little while ago inside. I didn't want to try to do it outside just because it's so windy. And if you're going to want this stencil, it's going to be available on the website, makerdecorshop.com. So for this stencil, I'll probably um, make a couple of different sizes. The one I'm gonna make is six foot, but I'll probably make a seven foot and an eight foot one. And I'm gonna go with four feet wide on this one. But I wanna show you, I usually only make half a template because it's literally the same. Same thing like I did with the butterfly stencil. I made one wing, you flip it over, you do the other wing. There's no sense in making this stencil eight feet long. That's just wasting paper, wasting time. And this can be um, kind of time consuming to tape it all together. So the shorter, the better. So it's gonna be half and I'm just gonna flip it. Six foot at the top. I'm gonna try to line that up with the wave on here. So this is actually, um, this is the two sheets. This is the quarter inch and this is the half inch. We're gonna line them up exactly together now. I'm gonna add a little brad nail in them so they don't move and then we're gonna cut them all out together. So I'm gonna use my brad nail gun. I could have swore I had some half inch brad nails but I only have five eighths. We'll use the five eighths brad nails. If you're getting them, get the half inch. It'll work out a lot better. Um, I might have some of these poke out in the back and I'll have to like hammer. But if you only have, if you're gonna get screws, you can use just um, half inch screws, I guess. Sorry, I'm just gonna cut it with the jigsaw. This is just a regular wood cutting blade. You can get the scroll saw blade. It's a little bit easier to uh, kind of get some maneuver a little bit. So it's a lot better, the scroll saw blade on here, but this is just a generic one. So the number one I can tip I can give you for uh, using the, the jigsaw is go slow because you push the trigger and it, it does want to take off. Okay, so you got to control it, have good pressure pushed against there and make sure the wood is supported and then just slowly go with it all the way across. If you kind of go off a little off, back, off track, just kind of scoot it back a little bit and then kind of go again, just get back on track. This was not cut perfect. It doesn't need to be cut perfect. This is a great beginner backdrop because you're just you're making waves it's not like a straight cut so uh, if i went offline you wouldn't know <laughs> but anyways hopefully that tip kind of helps you out all right so this is kind of where it's going to get different depending on how you want to build it so you can build the half inch for the actual backdrop it's going to be a lot stronger especially if you're going to want to make this foldable you can actually um cut it in half if you follow some of the other plans I have here you're just gonna add some wood and some hinges and you can fold it I'm not gonna do that I'm actually gonna use the half inch for the outer border 
uh, and this will be the one I'm using just mainly because of weight and I don't need this to fold it it'll fit perfect into a truck so it, it's fine so if you have the transport definitely recommend making it seamless because you always kind of see that line or sometimes it's a really pain to kind of get it really clean um, so if you can especially this backdrop is going to be pretty flat pretty easy uh, it'll fit in the truck and most vans if you want you can make it a little bit um not as wide and it'll fit into like a lot it, depending on putting seats down and everything in your vehicle a uh, half inch thick versus that uh, the quarter inch is a big there's a big dif difference in weight so when i can i always just go for light because you're just transporting so much but so we're gonna actually use this one for the full backdrop and this one's gonna be the outline but again you can reverse it and use the half inch thick for the full backdrop and that one for the outline plus i like the kind of depth this will give me um for the outer layer so it looks pretty cool um the reason we're doing that is kind of give it a little bit more strength and i forgot to add a second line on the stencil so you only see on the stencil you'll see a second line i'm probably gonna make this i think i like the idea of four inches so there'll be a line four inches inner and that'll be later after you cut this out you'll cut the inside of the stencil out and then you'll put it on here and you'll trace the four inch line across. I forgot to do it for this stencil, so I'm just gonna kind of trace the four inch line around. But um, in there, I'll make sure to have that so you don't have to try to figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just kind of wing it. I'm gonna make a little jig just to outline that four inch. You gotta be careful but if you go really slow you can actually start with your blade like this and you can lower it in place stop it get in place So I'm gonna give it a light sand around both before I put them together. I only have like, I think this is 80 grit sandpaper, but definitely recommend like 120 so you don't take off too much. This is gonna take off a lot, so I gotta be very careful. But 120 usually takes off a good amount, but doesn't take off as much as this, so. When you do yours, you should probably mark which is the bottom and which is the top. I gotta make sure they're exact now. <laughs> there we go, I had it flipped upside down and wrong way, so mark yours. So you know, I'm just gonna draw a pencil outline, take it off, add some glue, and then put some brad nails back on it. You have to use wood glue, and then you can use brad nails or screws, the small ones have a half inch so, or five eighths inch. Um, you have to use wood glue because that's what really adds all that strength and stiffness to the board, especially if you're doing what I'm doing, which is the board, the quarter inch at the bottom, and you know, using the half inch as the border, wood glue gives it that stiffness so it won't work without it. five eighth inch brad nails. Um, I'm gonna shoot from the bottom. My power set on low so I don't shoot through and poke to the front. Since I used the five eighth inch brad nail, bought four of them that slightly poke through. Remember I had my brad nail gun on, I moved all the settings to low so it doesn't shoot through crazy, but I only had about four that popped through and I just hit them with a the nail. It's like a sign I could twirl. So I'm just gonna use this one by two, put it down the center. That'll, with wood glue and brad nails, give the strength uh, to kind of give it more um, stability and then it also allow us to place the leg For now to hold it in place I'm gonna shoot a brad nail from the quarter inch on the front and back to kind of hold it in place and then flip it over Just to add a little bit more stability, I'm gonna add some uh, one inch to the ends on both sides. It'll actually go through this board and it'll actually go through the half inch board right here on the front. I'll probably add two, two here, two there, but I have to pre-drill with a drill bit. Um, just as long as the drill bit's smaller than the drill should be fine. But if you don't pre-drill, you'll probably split it. Uh, and also don't drill all the way through just in case somebody was thinking about that. If you want more stability, you can just make it longer. You can go to 32 inches, which let's just do 32. And cut this with the jigsaw, but I have my circular saw here. This is a lot better for cutting straighter. I'm just gonna make a little square in the center so we can put like a sandbag if we need to, just in case we're outdoors. I'm just gonna make a square hole uh, seven inches by eight inches, and it's four, four inches from the bottom. 
two and a half inches from the side. I'm gonna add a little bit of piece of wood at the edge of this. The reason the screws that come with it, if you just put them through, they'll poke through a little bit and it's better not to have that. And it also gives it more strength. So I'm gonna add a little square piece of wood here and here where the hinges go with some wood glue and bread. It's the leftover square that I cut out. I'm using the five eighths inch brad nails, um, but I just moved the power of my nail gun to all the way up so it shoots through farther to make sure it goes through more. And these are actually gonna be on the outside. Ah, oh, see, so pretty quick. Let me check what time it is. We started at about 10.30. If you can see that in the glare. It's 12.11. So what was that, an hour and a half build? So definitely a one day build. Yeah, you can paint it if you like. Uh, I definitely like the wood idea, the wood stain, especially since I used a different type of wood. You kind of see it pop out, super light. You can make this one seven feet eight feet i'll have the stencils in the link down below so thank you for everyone who watches our channel supports us what we do but if you like just make sure you're subscribed and you like this video so youtube kind of sends it out and kind of helps our channel grow a little bit bigger definitely appreciate it oh and if you like these one day builds and it's a good idea and you you just like the flow of it uh definitely comment down below and i'll try to get some more out for you maybe put some ideas and we'll see what happens i'll catch you on the next one